from here we will head off um, it's a bit of a race against time but we're going to get across here and try and catch the England game uh, tonight against the USA uh, Gabby a, a commanding performance in the, in the game against Iran Tonight, he wins a landmark 50th cap. And I'm talking about Harry Maguire. But do, do you have sympathy with Harry in that a section of the media has been very critical of him? A section of the England support seems to be non-stop critical of him. A section of the Manchester United support yeah. seems to be non-stop critical of him. I think the, thing, the thing for me with Harry Maguire is that, you know, he has been poor for Manchester United in certain games. You can't argue with that fact. But when you're going away pre-season... I think they went to America, Australia, wherever they went. And you've got fans in the stadium booing you. That's too far. And that's just people looking at social media and being sheep. You know, Harry Maguire has had some poor games, but he's had some decent games. For England, he's not let England down. Get behind him. I'm sure people out there, pundits, media, fans, would have wanted Harry Maguire to have a shocker game against Iran. He had a commanding game. Yes, he could have done better for the goal, switched mm. off. But... Mm. Get behind him. Get behind the players. Don't have, like, one player that you pick on and you want him to do badly. But, Gabby, have you? Have Alex? Has Alex? You certainly have, Simon. Uh, indeed I have, yeah. Have you not all been critical of <coughs> Harry yeah. Maguire at some stage? Yeah. If he's had a bad Should game... Should you be part of the problem? No, if he's had a bad... problem. If he's had a bad game, you can be critical, but people go too far, you know, with, with, with Harry Maguire. And I know f for a good, maybe four, five, six months, he's not been at his best, and... People have gone too far with it, Jim. And when, you, when you're playing for your country and you know you need to give sometimes players that confidence in games, why are you hoping that he has a bad game against Iran? I don't know if anyone's I don't hoping, think was hoping that he had a bad game. I, I, I go for social media a lot, Alex, and I think people that's will. Social, that's that's, that's social media a small is a barometer. We all know it's a cesspit. It's a, it's a, yeah, but I'm saying players see that, though, Simon. Players look you for it. Play, well, play, well, players at, at half-time probably go through their phone. At the end of the game, I remember um, someone said one of the England games. No, club games, sorry. Stuart Pearce says... The West Ham players would be straight on their phone after the game. They'll well, be looking at it. But that's up to them, then, isn't it? And if they want to, and they, if they want to read the nonsense that's in the world of social media at times, and they want to react to it, then they, then they'll get whatever they get from but it. But Simon, you yourself said Harry Maguire turns like an ocean liner, and that, <laughs> and, in, and I believe at the time I was right to say it. Yeah. And I believe do you think that, that went I, too far. No, I don't think it went too far at all. But I what think, do you think he thinks when he hears I that? I couldn't care less. What I do think is if I, t if I personalise it and said he was thick and ugly, then you could t talk about someone saying something that was inappropriate. I talked about his football prowess. He's a football player. He's in a position of influence in a position where he's accountable for his performances and we are talking about his performances. No one is talking about his behaviour on a Greek island. No one is talking about his acumen in life. We're talking about his performances on the pitch and that's why I find it really curious. People use the term abuse and we need to be careful what we qualify as abuse in society because too many times people say someone blowing a raspberry at them is now abuse. People on social media saying derogatory things is background noise unless you choose to want to make it something else. Harry Maguire's job is to perform on a football pitch. And How if do you think of a player, though, going away pre-season and you're getting booed in the stadium? That was wrong. That will have an that effect on the player. question I'd like that to ask is effect. why has it got to that stage? I, I, I think sometimes, and I'm not condoning people picking on him, mm. um, but I do think some of the interviews he's given have been formulaic and wooden and dialed in. Right, well, on that very topic then, here's Harry Maguire saying, believe in me because I believe in me. I have great belief in, in myself. I go on the training pitch, I work as hard as possible, I give my all, I give my best. And that gives you good preparation to go into a game um, and perform to the best level. I went into the Euros on the back of an 8-10 week injury, and so I wasn't too worried about the, the lack of game time, obviously. I want to be playing every week for my club. Um, it's something that I'm going to fight to, to, to get back into the team. Um, so it's not what and where I want it to be. Um, but of course, I, I feel fresh. I've worked hard. I've worked done extras in the, on the training pitch to, to make sure I'm ready when I get the opportunity to, to play. And I knew the World Cup was coming up. Um, so I always put on the, the extra shifts um, in training, like I said, and, and, and kept myself ticking over. So he's working Should harder. Be commended, he's shouldn't working he? harder than other players. Yeah. Why, why doesn't he do that at Manchester United? Maybe he does. Why doesn't he perform for Manchester United the way that he performs for England? Is that shirt weighing Coaching? too heavily Coaching? on his shoulders? Is that, was that armband weighing too heavily? No, but he's not solely to blame for Manchester United's run. He has to take responsibility for his own performances at club level. And they've been dire for well over a season now. Harry Maguire doesn't deserve to be in the Manchester United first eleven. There's no agenda against him. Does he deserve he's just to been be rubbish. winning his fifth year cap tonight? Yeah, probably. Because he's played well for England. But I want to see him play well for Manchester United.
I mean, you're very defensive of, of players being criticised, but you, you would stick no, to your, your side of the story, Gabby, that with Maguire and others, it goes too far. No, it this, crosses listen, a line. I understand players getting criticised. You know, it's our job to do that, Jim. You know, and I've done it to many players, but I feel with Maguire, people take it a bit too far. Well, who, you when know. you say people, again... Pundits in general. Well, some some pundits, you, not all pundits. Well, do you, some think, pundits do you do. think that... They, I, mean, I, I can't think of an example where someone's personalised it. They've talked about constructive observations. You are in a business of being assessed by your performance. Well, I've just and given you an example. You said he turns like an ocean liner. And I think that's times. a fair analogy. I think he's right. I think it's a fair analogy. It's a descriptive analogy. It might be slightly, slightly flamboyant in its prose, but it gives you the idea that someone isn't at it on it's it. It's a sensational it. analogy. Well, it's it's an over-the-top analogy. One, one of his last games for Manchester United before this World Cup was the, the League Cup game against Gabby's beloved Aston Villa. And Maguire petrified me every time Aston Villa came on the attack. So how could he be that bad for Manchester United and step it up for England? Something is not right there. Coaching. And that's a mentality issue. Yeah. Now you have to take responsibility for yourself. Don't keep I, blaming I, the coach. I, I think Alex is absolutely spot on. I couldn't say it any better what he's just said, the description of how... And if you're going to be offended by someone saying that you turn like an ocean liner, then you're going to have some seriously hard times in life when you get out into the real world and you're not protected by the institution of football. Harry, good luck tonight, Harry Maguire. <laughs> you win your 50th cap tonight as England go in against uh, the USA. Thoroughly backed by the people right here. And of course, that one is live on TalkSport.